today from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Tennessee Titans taking on Drew Locke and the Seattle Seahawks. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Tennessee Titans. has us all set and we are underway from Nashville, Tennessee from the six and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 get a look at this Seahawk offense as they come out there and the quarterback brought in as part of that big offseason trade now in his fourth NFL season Drew Locke it wasn't the easiest of times in Denver for Drew Locke, who was unseated after a single four-win season as the Broncos starter. The Russell Wilson trade sent him to a fresh start and a starting opportunity with the Seahawks. Maybe a change of scenery is exactly what's needed to bring the potential out of the former second-round pick. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Caleb Farley. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call. To You want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now it's Tannehill. And it's caught. And he's brought down. Tannehill fighting Woods for the Titans' first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Henry. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break.
Another shot from the one on second and goal. Henry again. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in from a yard out. And the Titans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. And this is 7-0 Tennessee. A drive there of just four plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. send this one away after the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Think they have an advantage? Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They go back to Carson here on second. And he'll take this up near maybe the 34. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Turn there following a punt of 48, and it'll be Titan football. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here against CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it. Derek Henry all alone. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Brutal. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cool game sometimes, partner. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. 
And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down throw, Tannehill. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Seahawks are going to take over here up near the 40. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes, those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Throwing now is Locke. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the end zone, Tannehill. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. Nine yards.
It's not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Now Tannehill. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A first down carry for Henry. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Tannehill. And incomplete on the deep ball. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So on fourth down, the Titans will turn it over to their punter since 2009, and that's Brett Kern. And it's fielded at the 34. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From midfield, here's Locke. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. This is Carson. Oh, look at the juke. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On play action, lock. He hits his target, lock it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. 
crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now it's Carson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They go back to Carson here on second. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from evening this one up. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a six-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides. But sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Inside handoff, Henry. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
Block now to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They run it with Carson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Shotgun snap to lock. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. To throw again on second down. Lock. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Block going to throw. That's completed. Now the Seahawks call the second of their as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Locke looks to throw it again. His throw incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Locke to throw. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Said not so fast to a good drive. Then marched to the end zone the last time out. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down to throw it as lock. And that will be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. 
So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Taken in at the three. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, they go again with Henry. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. On third down, Henry, nifty move. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together, a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Henry. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the floor. First down, Titans gain of 12. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Henry up the middle. And he'll get this into enemy Terrence there to make the tackle. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, here's Henry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock.
All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Haskins now on first and ten. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. to the 23 here on third. Tannehill now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Woods. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. zone now Tannehill that one thrown away from the pocket the officials kind of looking at each other but they'll say there was a receiver in the area so no penalty just an incomplete pass we've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring flying around making plays on the ball and we see yet another errant throw as a result He's going to keep this again. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Forced out to his left. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Tannehill to the sideline. Randy Bullock out now for the Tennessee field goal. Bullock's kick is good. And they take the lead here now. 10 to 7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here in the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. A nice look and play to start the drive down the middle and complete. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer 
and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Here's Carson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run again with Carson. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From just shy of midfield, Locke. This is the tight end fan. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Now Locke. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And the Titans are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who have had the receivers on lockdown. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. After the interception, here's Tannehill. This is caught. It's Woods. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Running left, it's Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. The Titans on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and seven. Here's Tannehill. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 23. The Titans' efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, 
They take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. First down, it's Tannehill. He's got Derrick Henry again, back-to-back -back catches. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. So that drives seven plays in length. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. send this one away after the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. The 30, 10, 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Seahawks. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. The important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. And now looking at 
the clock here. They do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. Running from the gun with Henry. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head back over what to do next. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. go victory formation down to a knee it's second and goal back to the eight yard line now Tannehill to a knee and that ought to be the final act of this ball game game this was what an atmosphere this was and the home team getting the late touchdown getting the victory and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their